This report is pre-recorded. I could not entertain any questions while this is presenting. My name is Roy Glenn Arshaga and I will be discussing the arts in Cordillera region. The people of the Cordillera region comprise of the Esneg or Apayao, Tinguan or Etneg, Kalinga, Buntok, Ibaloy, Kankane have a distinct way of life that influenced their art tradition. The ingenuity and persistence with which the Cordillera region artists transform raw materials in works of art define them as people. Their primary works are in the form of woodcraft. Wood is the raw primary material used by the people of the Cordillera region in producing artistic shields, decorated containers, home utensils, figurines, and religious images. Bamboo is also used together with clay, bronze, or brass. Iron is a necessary material in making spears and head axes. The Cordilleran art can be divided into two types, the decorative and the ritualistic or magical. Shields, containers, pipes, fabric color designs, and even tourist art objects belong to the decorative type while the bulul and bihang and other religious images belong to the ritualistic type or also called the magic type. The image on the right side is an example of bulul. Arts in the Cordillera region, especially wood carving, can be generally characterized as highly representational of human and animal form. This feature makes the art of the people in Cordillera different from the arts of Muslim in the South. Usually, art in this region have stances like sitting, standing, and other gestures. It is also naked and it portrays nudity in the sense that the sensitive body parts are essentially to be portrayed not for sexual meaning but for its importance. Rice has been essential in the region and they believe that there is a god of rice and it is called Bulul. Ponholjan is a male version of Bulul and his wife is Bugan. I have also researched the images of their rice god but there is no result so I could not show you what their god looks like. They also have their own music and it is portrayed in religious dances to help set the mood upon praying. Pasing is a two-string instrument of the Apayaos. Albon is a rice drum, the Sulibao is a conical drum, and the Kulinga is a cylindrical drum. All of that are identical and only differs in shape. Their flutes are called koleleng and deudeu, which can be played using the nose and mouth. As you can see in the picture, the guy is using koleleng, uh, using his nose to blow wind and to provide music and notes for them to perform their rituals about their gods. In deudeu, they use their mouth because the hole is too big for their nose. Percussion instruments are gansa and bongabong where it can be played by drumming or plucking the instrument. So this type of instruments is very common to us as we can see we used to play this in our high school during the festivals like Kalimudan festival or the Tinala festival. Uh, it can produce sounds by drumming it and plucking it so the only difference is that the way on how they play the instrument and how they use it as a bass for their music. So that is all about the arts in Cordillera region. Thank you very much for listening to me.